All that stress on my brain, right? Poker face, I'm in the game, right? YouTube, it's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we are going to be going over my top 10 Air Jordan 1 pickups of 2019 so far. So far, we still got other shit dropping, y'all. So if y'all new to the channel, this y'all first time rocking out with your boy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, join your boy the Retro Wiz Kid and the Sneaker Dungeon family. All the love and support is greatly appreciated. It does not go unnoticed. Let's try to get this video right here up to 100 likes. Splack that like button and whatever it is you do, just make sure you do what you do at your best because at the end of the day, that's all that matters is that you gave your best. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what your top 10 Air Jordan 1 pickups are thus far for this year. Let's get straight to it. Get it! So coming in first, y'all, now these shoes are not in any particular order. And top 10 pickups for me this year, y'all. Some of these shoes might have dropped already, but I picked them up this year. So the first shoe coming in would be the Pine Green, y'all. Shout out to my bro, Willie, man. He helped me out with getting this shoe. Greatly appreciate to add this shoe to the collection, man. Very, very dope. One of those ones that I just had to have. You guys already know. I love, love, love the color blocking of these. It just mimics the shattered backboards, bread toes, court purples. So, hey, had to have this pair right here in the collection. Let me know what you guys think about the pine green. I said pine greens. You can't have pine greens, bread toes, shattered backboards without having the court purples, y'all. I'm stupid happy that I was able to pick up the court purples as well. Very, very dope shoe. This was the first cop of 2019 for me. I bought these on New Year's, y'all. This was my New Year's present, should I say. So I'm really happy that I was able to add these court purples to the collection. Dope shoe, dope vibes. Actually good quality on this pair too, so. Hey, dope. Shout out to StockX for that. One of the shoes that I doubled up on this year and I actually ended up selling my double up, which really hurt me so dearly, but hey, I love this shoe. Turbo Greens. Very, very dope vibes with this shoe. I love how it has like the washed out look over the shoe. It's not that typical buttery leather that you have. It has a different type of texture on it. I like how they put the SP19 Air Jordan 1 High OG right there as well. And I mean, the quality looks, it looks immaculate, but in reality, it's not that soft, 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 buttery leather, but very dope shoe. This is in my out of the box sneaker rotation. I still wear these a lot, y'all. And the bottom, you guys can see right here. I guess you can kind of tell I do just throw these on and I rock them, but never really wiped them down or nothing like that because I had two pair, but now I only got one. But if I end up wanting to grab another pair, I'll just double back and go grab another double up of them. But I love the Turbo Greens. Tell me what you guys think about the Turbo Greens being on the list. Probably one of the shoes that I feel like was slept on, very, very slept on and very, very, very fuego, very good collaboration shoe would have to be the SP Gina, y'all. This was just a very dope release. It has that shimmer shine type effect to it and looks like kind of like it would be like a designer type shoe. And I really feel like this was a very, very dope collab, y'all. I did double up on these. They have a dope shoe box that came with them. It is actually a lunch box. So I thought that was really, really dope. I think the shoe was limited, but a lot of people probably didn't want the shoe. Therefore, that's probably why I don't have that crazy resale value that people would think that it would have. But I mean, you do the math on how many shoe palaces it is in the United States. You do the math with how many pairs each one probably got hmm you know you're looking at a couple you know what I'm saying not even I'm, I'm, I won't even say like I'll say like 12,000 pairs man in my if it just to be a, just giving it an assumption because I just feel like that that's the way you got to look at it they didn't release on Nike they didn't release anywhere else but shoe palace y'all so SP Genus this is another shoe that I said last year in 2018 I had to have this shoe before the end of the year, but I didn't end up picking up the shoe. So this year I was like, yo, Retro, pick the shoe up, stop playing. I would like to say it's a limited shoe to me because it is the only shoe that I own that is 
number, y'all. This is the wing ones, y'all, and I have number 5,938 out of 19,400. I love this shoe. I love the vibes that it puts out. It gives out the very, very dope wings right there. Then, you know, you think about the wings being spread, MJ spreading the arm span and everything. You got that right there on the back of the shoe. So, very, very dope. I love, y'all know I'm a sucker for the tips, pause, because somebody said last time when I said something about tips being on the shoestrings, they was like, yo, you need to say pause after that. So, I'm going to hit y'all with that pause. You know what I'm saying? We got that pause on there, but you do have them gold aglets on the shoe. Very, very dope, man. Very good touch. I like how they put everything on the shoe. It kind of looks like a, a deconstructed, like, shoe to me as well it's not really a it's not really a gold it's like a rust looking color to me so i really like these man y'all let me know what you guys think all the details on this shoe are dope and i got them for a steal man i got them for a steal i paid under retail off of stock x for this pair so i took it took a while man but i bid and i bid with what i was confident and what i wanted to pay on the shoe and eventually somebody bit and bam Hey, another one bites the dust. Y'all already know, you gotta have a twist to your top 10. And this is where my twist about to come in. I had to do it though, y'all. I had to do the twist. And that is, if you take, if you take a high and you subtract a mid, you get a low. You take a low and you add a low, you get a high. So therefore, I'ma just consider this one, you know what I'm saying, but it's two different shoes, but BAM! You got your UNC SBs right here. I had to have these as well as the Shattered Backboard Lows. And both of these are very fuego. OG color right here in my right hand. And this is the colorway that started it all with the quality on the ones, if you ask me, before the Shattered Backboard highs drop. I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like a lot of people were on the ones like that. I've always been into the ones. I love the mids. I was actually on mids before I went to highs. And that was just because back in the day, that's what I could afford was the mids. And then when I got some money and I was able to get the highs more and I was able to hit on them a lot more, boom, I start. I, that's when I got into that high cut OG. But at the same time, it's still not truly high cut if you ask me. If you ask me to all the Air Jordan 1 Nike Airs that we get, they're still not cut to the correct length. So y'all know what I'm talking about out there, man. But definitely had to put both of these in the collection this year. So we're gonna add this and put this, we're gonna make this one, cause I, I, I really just couldn't, I couldn't separate them, y'all. I had to make this one low plus one low equals one high. So y'all seen the first cheat. I might as well give y'all the second cheat and give it to y'all back to back before we end it up with the last couple pairs of shoes. And that would have to be the blue chills y'all and the obsidian unc wands both dope you have the female pair right here all patent leather these things are just gas to me man i love this shoe and then i had to get these originally i said i wouldn't be picking these up but now that i look at this is the first time i've actually ever put them like side by side like that very very fuego man dope vibes you know what i'm saying i i love patent leather i'm a sucker for it and then of course you know very 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 inconsistent shoes should i say but dope now i have a pair that's like if you look right here i have a pair that is like stupid flat and right here i just have that nice buttery looking and it's kind of soft man you know what i'm saying it's not it's not stupid stupid soft but it's soft y'all and i know a lot of people be like my pair is stupid soft my pair is stupid soft oh they shattered bad board quality i'm sorry y'all these don't compare to how my shattered bad boards feel that's just me maybe you got a pair that might equal out to your shattered bag boards but this pair is actually better than my pine greens and my court purples but i still think that they all they all cut a little different with the way that the pattern is going that's the that's just that's just the truth man they all look a little bit different but um some of them some of them have like that tumble tumble look this one right here this just got like that crazy crazy like tumble but like it looked like a crazy leather type of effect and then you had some that came out just stupid flat and i, I showed that in the video when i gave you guys the review and on foot and i compared two different stores foot locker and shoe palace and i showed you guys you had the nice buttery look Look on this pair and then you had the pair that I got from Foot Locker it was just like uh what were y'all thinking 
I guess people would probably say these last three are like heat releases. So I actually got this at SneakerCon Dallas. So if you guys follow me, you guys already know what it is. I've yet to undes the shoe, and I'm really happy that I finally was able to add it. I actually sold a pair of my Yeezys to get this pair, and that is the LA2 Chicago's. And I still have yet to wear them. I have an idea for distressing the shoe, but because you know we have already been confirmed that we're gonna get the Chicago's next year, I might just leave it like this and I will actually rock mine just like this and if I decide to do the little reveal I'll just go buy another pair and do that but as of right now that is why I've yet to wear them because I'm just not sure exactly a hundred percent what I want to do at this moment with this pair very dope pair and I'm glad that I was able to double back and get these and shout out to sneaker con and shout out to Dallas because that's where I got these at and shout out to the dude that let me get them and was willing to give them to me for the price that I was willing to pay because he didn't have to do that because I you already know he said one price I went way low he said another price I went low again and he was like hmm all right, I'm gonna let you get them, G. So that's how we got these things. This one is one of the newer releases that just dropped not too long ago. And of course, it only went up to a size 12. So you guys already know what it is. It is my first pair of satin ones. And that is the black toe satin ones. I was able to get this pair and double up on these. So I actually still have one on ice. And stupid, stupid Fuego, man. Dope that finally add a satin to the collection. Black toe, iconic colorway. You can't go wrong with it. Come on, Jordan Brand. We need the black toes with the black tongue. Y'all already know we've been saying this. Go ahead and do it. I won't be surprised if they do it next year and it'd be like a crazy shock drop just because this only went up to a size 12 in women's and that is a 10 and a half in men's. So a lot of the guys couldn't fit the shoe. So it'd be only be right if next year they give us or the year after that black toad with a black tongue. And probably one of the most hypest releases for me to cop this year was the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. I was able to hit on his G-Day off of his site and pick these up. And I have worn them, y'all. I've worn them and I've just kept the pink laces in them. I, I dig the vibes of the pink laces. It's an offset type vibe. But, hey, it's all good. I also like the brown laces in it. And I do like the sale in it, too. But this is the way that I have rocked them. I haven't worn them in a little while, man. They actually, hey, they actually go with the shirt that I got on now. I should just step out and go rock them right now, y'all. I might just run to Walmart real quick just so I can throw these things on and say that I wore them today. Hey call it quits then you know what i'm saying so that is my top 10 air jordan 1 pickups with a tiny little twist so far for 2019 y'all because we still have a lot more jordan still releasing and things can change i'm probably gonna do at the end of the year my top 10 pickups and then my top 10 air jordan 1 pickups and this right here is just like trying to give you guys a little bit of a playing field to let y'all see what i think is my top 10 so far but of course I told y'all it could change and that is out of like almost 30 some pairs of ones that came out this year that i purchased so that i think that's good that i, I was able to lower it down to at least 12 but kind of 10 but hey let me know what your top 10 air jordan 1 pickups were this year so far and i must keep putting that with emphasis so far this is not my top 10 for the whole year this is so far we are doing the nba 2k20 giveaway so make sure you guys do all the rules down below you got to be following your boy you got to be following toss world you got to be following divinity world on instagram as well as subscribe to our youtube channels make sure your pages are not private instagram can't be private don't be having who you following on youtube private we got to be able to verify that you are doing that and make sure you comment down below your instagram name as well as what system that you have and we will be announcing the winner on september 28th so make sure y'all check that out and stay tuned it is your boy the retro whiz kid i love you guys peace love and laguna beat and we out this thing yeah